My name is Tiffany Gibble and my pet is Lemon. She's a cockatiel. She's now nine months old. And we're in Oregon, in the Oregon Valley, where there's plenty of rain. I got her when she was five months old and I have four other birds. I have two budgies, a conure and a Quaker parrot. So she was the fifth bird in the final edition. And when I first got her, she, she was quite weak. She was a rescue um, from a cockatiel farm and she wasn't eating, she wasn't perching, she was living on the ground in the other cockatiel's filth because she has mutation. She, she has her mutation of the bald spot on the top of her head and her broken toe. That's, that's why I was so surprised when she took off in such flight because their instincts kick in and no matter how weak they are, their, their bird instincts kick in. Because she had made such progress in the first four weeks of having her, I decided that, well, I was doing online school and at home with COVID and with the birds all the time, it was becoming kind of a distraction just worrying about her well-being. So I wanted a vet's clearance that she was going to be okay before I was going into finals week. And so I drove 60 miles to get her into the vet at the last minute. And by doing so, I lost her um, in the cage transfer from the car to the vet. She's normally not caged. So she was in a small little compartment, a travel cage, and she did not want that. And so she flew away <laughs> and it was devastating. I turned to the internet and people suggested various sites like Parrot Alert, Paw Boost from Facebook. I was on there every day exhaustively. Uh, so yeah, I was definitely just spreading the word in the area because I knew that um, since I lost eyes on her, it was going to be very much up to the community to help me find her. I knew it was a race against time to find her alive. There are predators and we had just finished up an ice storm in our area, a very record one. And so there were plenty of freezing nights in, in that time frame. I had to be up there. I, I dropped out of the term to, to live from my car and be there because if somebody did see her, I was going to have to be nearby to follow up on that lead immediately. We definitely made her presence aware and that people definitely do that she belonged to me. Someone had told me that a hawk had got her and I believed it because that was my deepest fear. I had to come home for my own san sanity. I was kind of losing my mind up there. I maintained my, at my flyers online because I, people knew about her. Um, they knew exactly within 10 minutes of her being posted that she had been found, that she belonged to me. And I got maybe 20 responses from different people within the first hour of her being found, that they found my bird within the neighborhood, within that five mile radius, 65 days later, she was found exhaustively tired, ironically on an old tire in somebody's front driveway. The family didn't know how to take care of a bird, but I'm so grateful that they were honest and brought her in to a Petco. And apparently the young gal um, went against protocol by advertising her online. And by her doing so, she was able to get her to the rightful owner. So she did the right thing. You know, it is so hard for, for bird owners in particular because we don't have the same r resources, you know, the hope is such a wonderful thing, and most importantly, the the community maintaining hope. She's my angel, and with having her back, I have my life back.